everybody. How cool are these? You are looking at the latest release from Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture. It is silhouettes and, well, frankly, I'm surprised to be showing them right now. These were scheduled for a May release, but they have shown up at Walmarts here in the United States just over the last couple of days. They've been in Australia and New Zealand uh, the last couple of weeks, I believe. I got word that these were showing up last night. I went to one store. They had already been snagged up. But then my friend Mike, UT underscore Mike at Instagram, called me, said he had a set and was nice enough to say, hey, why don't I hand it off to you? You can open it up and show it to all of your viewers. So this showcase is thanks to my friend Mike. Give him a follow down below. I put a link in the comment section to his Instagram account. He's a cool, cool dude. And I really do appreciate it because now we can open these up and take a look at the latest set from Car Culture. Let's have a look at just what we are looking at to start. What a cool set this is. There's always a million highlights to look at when it comes to a new Car Culture release. First and foremost is the artwork. We'll get into that a little bit. Always what new models might be appearing. We have two in this set. And then just everything else. The theme, silhouettes being the theme in this case. I have them in order one through five. Let's go ahead and start with number one. This is a surprise. This is not a new model. This is the 76 Chevy Monza. It has been forever and a day since this thing was released. I can't even remember the last time. I think it was one of those uh, kind of retro style uh, flying customs or something like that sets that this was released in. Let's take a look. Silhouettes is the name. We see that it has kind of a theme here. Uh, Julian Coyles has done the art. I asked him anything that I should share in terms of the art. And he said, I wanted to highlight the silhouettes. So if you can kind of see this, the ways he, did, ways he did it, you can see one color on one side on top of the car, a different color on the bottom. What's kind of cool too is that each card back actually has a different color as well. So I don't know if we've seen that before. So that's a cool little detail. Um, and then, yeah, just more of an artistic rendering of the car. Sometimes he goes uber realistic. Other times he goes more in interpretation. This is very much... An interpretation focusing on the silhouette of these cars. Um, well, let's just keep going. Chevy Monza, such an interesting choice. You've got a nice 70s color here of a 70s race car, right? I don't know the full history of the Monza, but what I do like is that we have variety here, right? We've got um, Japanese, we have kind of a Japanese European hybrid, we have two American cars and then a full German car. So Variety is the key here, and this Monza is one of those really, really interesting surprises in this set. Number two. Now, I don't know if all of these are licensed decos or they're kind of licensed. We'll have to look that up on the Monza. This one I know is licensed. This is the 76 Greenwood Corvette. I have mentioned to several people, and I've mentioned on the blog and here on the channel, that this is one of my all-timers. So some of you like to say that I say everything's my favorite. I might be guilty of that a little bit. I promise you, the Greenwood Corvette is an all-timer for me. A top five Hot Wheels casting. Having another licensed Greenwood Corvette is super excited. The first licensed Greenwood Corvette came from the racing series. I've showcased this before. Greenwood Corvette, the green, I think it's Johnny Greenwood or John Greenwood is the one who kind of, uh, who modified these Corvettes into these just ridiculously cool racing Corvettes. And uh, that's number 76. The Seabream 76 was one. And now we have the Mancuso Chevrolet. You can look it up. It's there. This is, the, this is the deco of that particular Corvette. And here's Julian's artwork. Uh, what I like is this angle kind of shows, you know, the Corvette kind of slopes up and then slopes down and then slopes up in the back again. And he's kind of showcased that with this, uh, with this art, which is super cool. Now, the Corvette is just amazing. I love the color combination. I love the Trans Am style wheels on this one. Same matches the same as the um, as the Hot Wheels Racing from 2012. These two, I am just so excited to put together because it's been you know we've had some nice releases of the Greenwood, including a Zamac, including a Super Treasure Hunt, but getting this back in uh, in premium and getting this in a licensed deco is such a treat. So this is one of my all timers as well. 
Number three. I said we had two American, now we have European. This is the 78 Porsche 935-78. Once again, Julian highlighting that awesome, awesome silhouette. Is this a licensed deco? I'm guessing it's roughly one. It may be completely licensed, the PPG. You guys can tell me. I'll look it up too. So this one, what's cool about this Porsche too, is that while the Greenwood debuted in Hot Wheels Racing in 2012, so did this one. So the first edition is an absolutely beautiful model as well. I think I've showcased this one just recently as well. So put these together. Now we've seen several releases of this one and it's been in um, car culture. I think this is the third or fourth time, which is cool because it's a definite premium casting. So yeah, two that debuted in racing. So this is kind of a throwback to that Hot Wheels Racing series which, I, with series, which I think is really cool. So that's number three. Now, the two that I think so many people are excited about, these are the two that are being gobbled up right out of the gate. This is the RWB Porsche 930, and this is just, wow. I'm taking this in too, guys. This is the first time I have seen it. We've seen a lot of pictures of this, and obviously this has been previewed um, at uh, by Mattel. But seeing this in package, just being able to open this thing up is such a treat. Raw Welt, right? The Griff is what RWB stands for. This is, I don't know if this is a, you know, he I, these cars get named. And I don't know if this is a specific RWB Porsche. But you can see one thing that, uh, that happened here is that this one ha debuts. It has the... Uh, Six spoke real riders, but this is the deep dish in the back. The first time we have seen that one that they tooled up for this casting, and then they put it on the uh, the next casting that we will see. So we'll continue to look at this one as this video ends because there's not much to say. There's just a lot to look at. That is a treat. And finally, number five, always what Mattel likes to do is put the uh, new casting at the end since there's two. The RWDB Porsche is number four. The Nissan Skyline Silhouette is number five. So they went all out for this mix. I would say this is the one that makes this series truly called a silhouette because that's what this car is actually called. It is a Nissan Skyline Super Silhouette. Early 80s racing car. We have seen these on this channel a lot before. There's a history to these, a rich history in Japanese racing. In fact, these were the cars that were on Japanese kids' walls in the early 80s. You can see this is obviously based on the R30 Skyline, a, ma a car that Hot Wheels has done. You can see it's got that two-tone red panda look. And then you can also see what, well, basically you can see the silhouette of the Skyline. But when you put it to, when you look at the front or from the back, you can see that it's much wider than the standard R30. And that is how it got its name, the Silhouette. The Silhouette had, for these race cars, the Silhouette had to be essentially the same as the standard street car. But within that Silhouette, you could do whatever you wanted to. And so that's what these racers did. Sylvia's, uh, Bluebirds, and then of course these Nissan Skylines. And they went bonkers on these. Such a rich history. Cool, you got that deep dish, which is an interesting choice. And I actually like it. I like to see the aero style wheels on this, and I'm sure at one point we will. But uh, the uh, Bosozuko styling actually came from this too. It kind of was born from this, like this crazy chin spoiler and everything else. There's just so much, so much to take from this casting. And it is so cool that Hot Wheels has finally done one. There you go. All five of the Hot Wheels car culture silhouettes. What a treat it is to look at these. This will be easily one of the most popular sets of the year there's some cool stuff still coming as you've seen from the previews but uh, this one is going to be hard to top cool colors cool art fantastic assortment of models nice variety i hope everyone thinks that because i think there is you guys tell me what you think in the comments down below thank you for watching just have a gander at how cool these models are we'll see you bye